In this video, I want to show how to correctly change the units of measurement so that they are correctly adjusted in all dialog windows. The program is open here. For example, I now go into the construction mode, and in each individual tab, you find this option. To the right of the printer, Unit Scale, and I can select the units here. If you want metric, you should choose meters, and if you want imperial, then feet. These are the two main units you should choose between. I will now select feet, click on OK, and next it is important to also open the interactive dimensions option in the settings. And here also click on the tab measured value and check use this unit of measurement to select feet. Now I click here on OK and go to Wall, select a wall from the catalog, and start drawing it. I click with the left mouse button on the starting point, draw my wall, and, um, the blue lines show me in feet how long the wall is. And at the mouse, I also have measurements, the length and the angle. I can also turn these two things on and off using these points. For example, I can turn the blue lines on and off here, or also turn the measurements at the mouse on and off. I will leave them on now and enter 26 feet on the keyboard and press enter. Now I press escape to end the function and I can activate the function Interactive Dimensions to display on the wall, and the lengths are shown on all walls. Now I want to measure this one wall for verification, and it shows me 26, and then there's a 5 at the top. Uh, to change these measurements, I click on them once, go to Measured Value, and turn off architectural representation. So now I see the values like this, and it shows 26 feet. Next, I wanted to answer a question that is very frequently asked by American customers. Many ask, when you click on the wall and then open the catalog, the walls are stored here in centimeters or meters. And whether it can be changed? Uh, the answer is, it doesn't matter in which units these walls are stored in the catalog. Those are just the labels, uh, the names of these, uh, walls. For example, if I click on this wall now, I enter the thickness of the wall here at wall width before drawing. I can enter my individual thickness for each wall in my units. For example, now two feet, and I draw a wall that is two feet thick. That's why it doesn't matter in which measurements the walls are stored here. You can manually enter everything for each wall before drawing. And when you trace a floor plan, you usually always know what thickness you need next, how thick the walls are that you want now. Then, it is important to know if you want to enter the wall thickness in inches, you click up here on unit scale, then on inches, okay? And you see, it was not changed here. You have to turn this function off and on again. You can do it now, for example, by pressing escape. Then you turn off the wall function and click it again. And now it is in inches. Now I'll do it again, um, the other way around. I switch it to feet, click OK, and it's still in inches. I click on select, for example, to turn off the wall function and then back on wall. Now it's in feet. So you have to turn the function off and on once, then it is, then the units are switched. I would now like to enter the wall thickness in inches, and I now enter, for example, 20 inches as the thickness and draw the wall. I now see the blue measurement units show me feet, 
and the units at my mouse are in inches. So I now enter 500 inches and draw a wall that is 500 inches long. And, uh, here the length is displayed in feet. The whole thing can of course also be set in meters and centimeters. And just as a reminder, you have to set it to meters here, click OK, and then set meters in the options for interactive dimensions at the top, click OK, and now, when I draw a wall, I see the measurement in meters on the wall and enter it in meters.